Hey, this is Herbert. This channel is about simple things to make you become so much better at work or even running your business. Today, I would like to talk about what would you do if you want to give up and how to motivate yourself to go on every day, even in difficulties. For me to become powerful again, I will start asking myself five questions. Here you go, my question number one. The first question I would ask myself is, what if tomorrow you're not doing that anymore? Just think about it, the things that you've been chasing for, and tomorrow you're not doing that. That would feel like to me. And just thinking about that, I'm energized, because I feel down if tomorrow I lost my purpose, that I no longer have the things that I love the most. So what would I do? Do I go home watching TV, sitting on the f couch? No, man. So I'm gonna keep going. Second question, what do you ask yourself? I would think, what could I say to the loved ones? that I give up, what would I tell them? Do I tell them that I'm weak? Do I tell them that I lost my confidence? Do I tell them that I don't love them anymore so that I don't even want to try? That's not gonna happen. I can't let that happen. So that keeps me going because I would never let myself to talk this kind of language to my little girl or my family. Second powerful question. The third question I would ask myself, if you were to tell your best friend, a great one, that you're about to give up, what would they say? I imagine that, and you put yourself into their shoes, what would they say? And I close my eyes and I think about it. They would probably say, Herbert, you have done a long way. You have done a great job. Look back, look back in all the things you have achieved. That was great stuff. Keep going. And this is also the way if people come to me, if they say they want to give up, I will cheer them up. So by asking this, putting yourself in your friend's shoes can make you become powerful again. Fourth question I would ask. Has your why changed? Has your why you want to start it, the project, the business, the things that you love, has it changed? And normally, it didn't. What has changed is because you think it's difficult. You think you no longer have power and you think you're running out of solutions. But is it really? Are you really running out of solutions. Have you really tried everything? If you haven't, you keep going, man. I'm here to cheer you up. Fifth question I would ask. I would look at other successful people. Um, I would ask, how long does it take those people to become successful? When you look at those great ones, just uh, say maybe Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, or even I would stuck, um, say like for me as a motivational speaker, how long does it take other speakers to become successful? What I do is I look back into their YouTube channel. I scroll down to their first video most of the time, six years, five years, seven years. So that's long. That's how long it takes them to become where they are today. So how long have you done? How long have you been focusing on your projects? One year, two year? You know what Jack Ma say? One year you can, two year you can. If you put it 10 years, maybe you have a chance. So if you like what I'm talking about, I have a free workshop on May 30th, Saturday, starting 9 a.m. 
it's a Zoom live event. So go to the my go to my website www.deaddayout.com. You can also click it uh, in the description below. Um, sign up, and I hope I will see you soon there in my workshop. My workshop will be talking about three steps to achieve what you want in life. Step number one: look into your past. What has gone wrong? We're going to review our life. Second step: how we turn those bad experience, negative experience, into positive message that push us forward, only forward, not backward every day. Third step is doing the right thing how do we make it happen how do we act in the right way even if we see difficulties even when we see obstacles even people say that you can't even when you tried and didn't work how do you make yourself keep going until successful and how to make people to support you instead of putting you down i'm going to show you that so i hope you sign up and i'll see you in my workshop have a great day